Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler here filming south and east from Jeanette's here as an unexpected swell has come in from the North Atlantic Ocean with waves in the range of uh, I'd say one to three, uh, two to three feet, possibly some four footers on the sets. Um, much better conditions than expected. Uh, you do get out in the water, however, um, there are quite a few jellyfish with those winds coming in off the uh, Gulf Stream, pushing those jellyfish in. Did not get out into the water today, but did complete surf session number 151 for me for this year, yesterday. And um, we'll be back in the water early tomorrow morning. And hopefully wave conditions will continue to improve as they have this afternoon. Uh, wave monitors, um, unfortunately a bit off, so I'm going to be modifying the official wave reports based on these direct observations. Right now at Nags Head, we've got one to three foot waves, uh, semi-glassy conditions. We've got a swell, looks like in the range of about two feet coming in out of the east. Uh, looks like at about a 10 second period. Winds out of the west at around four miles per hour, pretty light winds out of the west right now. Air temperatures in the range of about 82 degrees, ocean water temperatures 75. Down at Rodanthe, waves in the range of one to three foot as well. Clean conditions, east southeast swell 1.8 foot, 11 seconds. Southwest winds at eight miles per hour. 83 degree air temperatures, ocean water temperatures 80 degrees. And down at Buxton, two to three foot waves, clean conditions with a southeast swell at 1.6 feet and 10 seconds. West southwest winds at nine miles per hour. Air temperatures in the range of 82 degrees, ocean water temperatures 81. According to the National Hurricane Center right now, we've got no tropical disturbances with development potential of note. However, we do have a large tropical wave moving off of Africa, which will need some monitoring. And off the U.S. East Coast, we have a stalled frontal system and stalled fronts at this time of year could develop into hurricanes. There's quite a lot of fuel for tropical cyclones that do develop uh, with those warmer than normal ocean water temperatures. Um, and uh, some notes on the uh, climate crisis. Uh, we do have more and more climate scientists weighing in on the wildfires in Hawaii, uh, noting that the climate crisis has made those fire conditions worse in Hawaii and has contributed those fires, which is one of the reasons why we here at the OBX Wave Report uh, every time, uh, or pretty much every time, we ask you guys to do everything you can to help speed the transition to clean energy and thereby reduce the impacts driven by fossil fuel burning, the impacts uh, that are driving the climate crisis. And for our coastlines here, we are looking at impacts uh, to include rising sea levels, more intense storms, and harm to the ocean environment due to ocean heat waves and ocean acidification so once again uh, please do everything you can to help speed the transition to clean energy and protect our coastlines and so much else from the impacts of climate crisis all right so thank you for joining me for this session of the obx wave report as we watch these swells roll in off the atlantic ocean and some surfers get some good rides i'm going to go ahead and point the camera to these blue green swells coming in here next to jeanette's pier uh, some beautiful waves here today and hopefully uh this surfer here will turn and burn and catch this nice swell that is forming up looks like we might have uh oh uh, yeah uh, maybe nope not quite <laughs> didn't get quite into the right positions but uh Nonetheless, um, some beautiful green swells rolling in here at Jeanette's Bay. So thank you for joining me once again, and I do hope you guys get out into the water and enjoy some good waves.